I'm very excited for the new HasLab Victory Saver. I backed it, and I'm super stoked to get that thing in my hands when it releases later this year. Hopefully. <laughs> there hasn't been a manufacturing update yet, so I don't know if they've started it or not, but oh well. But in the meantime, I've been trying to collect all the official versions of the G1 character, and so far I'm one for three. I just need the Robot Masters and the MP. I'm gonna start with Saber here, because there's something blatantly missing, and yeah, it's his nose cone, it's not here and it desperately needs it. I will get the nose cone eventually, don't worry. But I really love this red, this super rich and vibrant red, and the white works so well with it, but I feel this shade of blue is a bit weird. It looks like a shade of blue I commonly see in knockoffs, and it makes looking for the authentic Star Saber a bit difficult. I mean, there are other cues, but on first glance, it's just eh. But this thing is real, so don't worry. The stickers are in pretty good shape here, and I like the shiny gold, however, that's more for the robot mode. He is missing quite a bit of stickers, so I will, you know, I will, I will get those at some point. The Brain of Courage can sit in the cockpit, however, it's a very tight fit. Like, it fits really well, but it looks terribly claustrophobic in there. Also, the cockpit opens sideways, not a bad thing, it's just interesting to see that. He has rolling wheels, but only two, because nose cone, but they make one of the loudest squeaky noises I've ever heard from some wheels. But that's all this little jet mode does. That's where the V-Star comes into play. This thing is just a massive brick with a gaping hole in it. I'm still shocked at how this isn't yellowed, and now I have to be very careful where I display this, but hey, it looks really nice. Definitely gonna get new stickers to clean this thing up because boy, it needs it. You can combine the small jet into the big jet. Just make sure the wings on Saber are sticking straight up and you get this, which really needs its nose cone. This does have fold-out landing gear and it's very big like a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting something along the lines of the size of Victory Leo, but no, this is a lot bigger in mass. The helmet just hangs out on the top there, and that's... Eh, that looks a bit whack. I, I get them trying to pretend it's guns and stuff, but it still looks a bit funky. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. They really just... They really just stuck it on the top and called it a day. Detaching the plane, by the way, you want to press the white button on the back first, otherwise you'll risk ripping the clip off, and we don't want that. Now, to me, Star Saber isn't complete without a Victory Leo companion. So here we have G1 Victory Leo. He's missing his guns and the landing gear, but otherwise, everything's here, and the jet mode sucks. It's very much a, we need a third alt mode quick, and it just shows. The gun would be like a cockpit type section, but I don't have it, and eh, it doesn't look that great with it either. Let's just get into lion mode. I want you to listen to how creaky this old transformer is because it's showing its age hard. This is definitely the best mode, in my opinion, of Victory Leo. I love the colors on this thing, the orange and the black. They just go so hard. The Lion mode is just epic. Only thing that feels it's missing is a proper tail. But hey, this works, I guess? It's, it's weird. You can open and close the mouth, and he looks pretty menacing with those random tusks that go the other way, which is weird. The head on mine hates pegging in, so it just flops around a lot, and that causes the middle section to slide out every now and again, because age has not been kind to this. Same with the stickers, they're really bad on this toy. Lion mode has articulation, but it's not really usable in any way apart from the mouth opening and closing, so let's just move on to robots. There's some things I do want to point out during the transformation, so I'm going to walk you through both of them right now. So I wanted to walk through this because there's... Oh, I'm closer to the camera now. There's a lot of things that you have to be careful of when transforming it, specifically like buttons and stuff. So we'll, 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 we'll get him out of the way. We'll start with, with this guy. So Victory Leo here, he's pretty simple to transform, a couple little loose things, but you just fold up the little panel under his head, you... Oh, he has sitting action, there you go. Um, let's just move the camera up. Uh, you, you want to get the arms unfolded and all that, we'll just do that now. But the thing I wanted to point out was these yellow buttons. Now, I didn't know about these when I first got it, which is why I'm doing this. But you have to push these in order to extend the legs. And that seems all, like, well and good and easy. And then you just pull that up. But this side right here is a little jammed. Like, I'll pull it and it works. But you see the button's kind of shoved in. And it's not pulled all the way out. And so you got to, like, pull on it. Ah, till now it's in the right spot. And now you've got the legs extended properly. That's just something that you have to watch out for on your copy if you get one that's kind of old because it might be stuck. Also this, 
likes to come apart very easily. There's a little switch right there that's supposed to go in that gap, but because of how old my figure is, it doesn't quite lock in a lot. So he tends to fall apart sometimes, which is a little annoying. Um, there you go. Now, going on to the Star Saber, we're gonna detach this thing and we're gonna do this later. So to do Saber here, again, it's another sort of button thing. You press the button and he extends and a piece of him comes out like it always does. Uh, and then you just fold all this stuff back. The wings go, or the arms, sorry, go up like this. Fold out his hands like so. And then I forgot to remove the Brain Master. He's on the floor. You open the door and there's this little elevator in here. Now the elevator in theory, when I close the door is supposed to push up, but it's not because these two clips are bent inwards and they're supposed to be straight. Now I can just take a hairdryer to it and fix it. And I'll probably do that at some point. I just haven't had the time, but because of that, they don't go into these little slots right there. You can kind of see them. So what I do with the brain master is if yours is broken, you can still use this. You push the head up, right? And you just shove it in there and then you, rest the feet on that little plate at the back and he stays and there you have saber all in robot mode starting with leo's robot mode he is a chunky boy the biceps are supposed to be white and they are brown here yeah that apparently happens a lot with japanese g1 toys from what i've been told but hey at least the wings are still clean he looks very cool though. I love the proportions of like the large boot design and the chunky upper torso. The orange looking suspenders and the little orange bits on the arms just help keep the colors from being too boring, just as black and white. The face is done in a nice silver and it looks really lush. I do quite like the sculpt they did there. He doesn't really do much in robot mode other than stand there. I mean, he can move his arms forward and bend his elbows, but that's about it. So let's get to Saber. Saber looks very dinky. The proportions are very off and the new one, God, the new one looks a hell of a lot better in that department, but this was G1. So there is that he, he is tall though. Like, like very tall. I wasn't expecting this to be super big, but it's about Voyager height. And that's pretty impressive. His hands are also five millimeter compatible. So you can peg loads of modern weapons into him. And not going to lie that that's kind of fun. You can also use the shoulder pegs too. So that's cool. His articulation is also very basic, just shoulders, mine of which are very stiff. This is the V star, right? But it combines with Saber's robot form. And I want you to hear the ratchets in the, the legs. Oh my God. They're just here. Just take a listen. Those are loud as hell, but once you get him all situated, he looks metal as fuck. That, that, that right there to me is the face of Japanese G1 and it looks so incredible. I love the robot design. It feels both very Gundam and very Transformers at the same time and it just hits the spot. The yellow, the red, the white, the blue, the gray, they all work so well together, but the gold's a bit odd. Kind of wish it was on a bit more of the toy because it's just in that one spot and it's just eh. It's also faded a lot on mine, so that doesn't help. His hands are also 5mm, and yeah, I've had loads of fun just putting drag strips, dinky-ass pistols in there, because it looks so funny. He also isn't much for posing. However, listen to this. Now, these two aren't just a duo. You get like this they also combine sort of it's just star saber wearing shoes and getting some wings but here here's a walkthrough so the only real prep you have to do for this guy is you literally just fold his squeaky little feet away and push him away he does most of the transforming 
You start by pushing this little button on the back here, little yellow button, and then sliding this up. Cause that triggers a little mechanism in there. And then you wanna fold the faceplate down, bring the teeth in and get this. Come on, that did not feel good. There, fold the line feet down like so. Ooh, you can tell this is old. And then fold out the wings and this little clip section here and that, and that's that part done. And then these bits, split them in half, rotate this out and pull this black section. Then you press this button again, don't forget to press this button and compress it, fold it around, tuck that in, fold out the foot, and there's one done. Let's do the same thing here. Remember, don't forget to push that button in. I see a lot of these online with broken leg sliders and stuff because people forget to push those buttons in. Oops. Now you wanna take this, line it up with the ports on the back, press the same button again, and fold that up. You cannot fold those up unless you press the buttons. So please do that, don't break it. And there you go, and then we'll just move this up so you can see the backpack. So the first thing you wanna do with the backpack is you wanna hook the red parts in first. So you just line it up, slide it over, and then clip it in to the bottom like that. And that's Victory Saber. I wanna point something out before we look at the combined mode in full. This is an Xbox Series X controller, and this is Victory Saber's foot. It's literally the same size as an Xbox controller. What? It, I was not expecting this to be that big, and when I put them side by side, when I first got Victory Leo, I was blown away by how big this stupid thing is. It's massive. Like, here, it's, look at it. It's huge. I absolutely love it. It looks so goofy because it's just Star Saber in boots and a vest. But yeah, that hits the spot. It scratches that itch of chunky, goofy Japanese G1 toy for me, and it's just chef's kiss. Now, I do need the guns, and I'll get some junkers eventually to complete this guy because repairing these toys is fun a lot of the time, actually. He doesn't really do much in this mode. That seems to be a common theme with the three figures, apart from looking intimidating, but he can still hold 5mm guns, so drag strips look even more ridiculous here. Chaos Paladin's sword, though, actually doesn't look that bad, honestly. If it was a little bigger, it'd look great. And again, it needs new stickers, but I'm just stoked to have this thing in front of me. Like, that's my like that's mine. I never would have thought I'd have one of these for anything less than 400 bucks. But here I am with an incomplete, yes, but a Star Saber and a Victory Leo for 52 bucks. I 100% recommend this. If you can get it for cheap like I did, definitely jump on it. Don't second guess that. It's a lot of fun to transform back and forth. It feels great. It sounds well it, it would sound great once I clean the joints out. And if anything's warped or loose or busted, it's not that hard to repair and it makes a great little weekend project. So I definitely recommend picking one of these up, especially with the new one coming out. It's always nice to have like the two on the shelf to compare and contrast the old one versus the most up-to-date version. It's just, it's just nice. But that's my look at G1 Victory Saber. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye bye